In the previous video, I showed some of the things you can do and see in Hokkaido. However, in this video, it's going to be all about food. So come join me on my food adventure and let's see what Hokkaido has to offer. Of the same. <laughs> Maybe you're sick? 10 out of 10 deep fried chicken style. This looks like a pizza. <laughs> We all know Japanese curry is a very popular dish in Japan, however if you come to Hokkaido you have to try their unique soup curry which was originated here in Sapporo, the capital of Hokkaido. Look how cute this place is! <laughs> So it's an easy four step process when you come over here. The first step you choose the curry you want and then after that for step two you choose the base. So you've got regular which is more tomato-y and then you've got mild coconut, mild coconut and then for step three you choose the spiciness level. If you're brave enough you can get spicy level number 10 which I didn't get. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> And then for step four, you get to choose the rice. Hungry. It's very interesting because I've never tried natto and curry. So, it's a bit sweeter than your normal curry. They actually chopped it up, so you can't taste the natto flavor that much. But it goes really well with the curry. I think because I have natto in my curry, my one isn't as soupy as your one. I like how there's so many ingredients in it. I give this a... I give this a good 8. 8 or 9. I think this is a really good start to our trip. Oh yeah, that's definitely... Let's go to the next place. Hokkaido is very famous for their seafood, so a great way to try out their fresh seafood is by visiting a fish market. Hokkaido's crab is definitely something you should try when you're here. However, if you're like me and you didn't want to splurge $100 on crab, there are other cheaper ways of tasting it. Try some of the restaurants that offer affordable yet fresh seafood bowls at the fish market. Now let's try some crab. This is so good, it's so tender, it's so fresh. In Hokkaido you have to try this seafood, it's the freshest here. So I give it an 8.5. Next, we are going to try a long standing staple of Otaru City. This shop is known for serving its golden formula fried chicken, and you can either eat at the restaurant or you can take out like I did. So this shop is very famous for their fried chicken because it's huge and it smells so good when you walk into the restaurant. But since I want to try a lot of other things around <laughs> I got their zangi, which is kind of like deep fried chicken. Ah, it's got a lot of flavor. So this looks like your normal average deep fried chicken but it's actually it's very juicy and it's actually got a lot of meat inside compared to your average deep fried chicken this is probably like the best deep fried chicken I've ever had actually I'll give it a 10 out of 10 deep fried chicken star <laughs> really impressed with the food in Hokkaido um, yeah <laughs> I'm really impressed I'm lost for words it's everything I've had like after you eat it 
You still want more? We're gonna go try KFC and see how it compares to the chicken before. Lawson chicken? Oh, we're only thinking about is chicken right now. <laughs> Come on, we gotta notice the other things around this town. The Sapporo Beer Museum is a very popular place to visit. However, don't forget to have a meal at one of their atmospheric beer halls. I went to an all-you-can-drink beer and all-you-can-eat barbecue serving the local dish Genghis Khan, which is a dish consisting of meat, usually mutton or lamb, and vegetables cooked on a dome-shaped metal grill in the middle of the table. It's shaped like a dome so that the juices from the meat can run down the sides to give the vegetables more flavor and trust me, this is so good. However, my battery went flat and I wasn't able to film much here, but I give this place a good 10 out of 10. Next, I went to Lake Shikotsu and there were a lot of food stores around the area, so I decided to try some of Hokkaido street food. One thing in particular I had to try out was Hokkaido's corn. Since Hokkaido has very good farming conditions, it's very well known for its produce, especially their corn and melon. And because everything looked so good, I couldn't help myself to get a little bit more. So I'm going to have this cheese imomochi and it's very soft as you can see it's breaking apart right now so I have to eat it very fast. Mm. I love when you bite into it and then the cheese just melts in your mouth and also the mochi. It's not as chewy as your normal mochi. The sauce on top of it is kind of a savory sweet um, mitarashi kind of sauce. Very good. Give it a Mm, maybe an 8 out of 10. I like it. And the squid. Tastes like squid. Normal squid. <laughs> but chewy. I give it maybe maybe a 6. The main the thing I've been looking forward to the most. Hokkaido corn. Mm. Oh, it's really sweet and it's really juicy. And the curry bread, I give it a 7 out of 10. It was uh, very crunchy, so I liked that about it, and it wasn't too oily. Apparently, this ice cream is the second best in Japan. Hokkaido is very famous for their Hokkaido milk, so the ice cream should be good. Got melon on one side and milk on the other. Now let's try it. Mm. This is so good. It tastes like real melon. The milk was very rich and creamy. I think I give this a 7 out of 10. For dinner, we're going to be having ramen and we've come to this shop here called Ramen Shinken. And a lot of the locals that we talked to recommended us this ramen shop. And now that we're here, there is a very long line. However, I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth the wait. So let's line up and I'm very excited for the ramen. Hokkaido is very famous for their miso ramen. What I like about this ramen is that the miso is just the right amount. It's not too overpowering. It's not too oily as well, which makes it very easy to drink. I give it a 7, 7 out of 10. It's good, good miso. It's simple. I like it. It's great for the price. It's big. You get very full. I feel like I'm gonna sleep like really well today. Now we have come to Sapporo Station and there are a few things you shouldn't miss inside of the station, including this cheese tart shop here. Since Hokkaido is famous for their dairy products, cheese tarts are also a very popular and delicious dessert to try here. This one here wasn't too sweet and the inside was just to die for. 
Another place not to miss inside of the station is this conveyor belt sushi store that serves quality fresh sushi at a very affordable price. The sea conditions around Hokkaido are said to be the best for fishers in Japan, so when Japanese go to Hokkaido, many eat the fresh seafood Hokkaido has to offer. And before I went to the sushi shop, I wasn't quite sure if the sushi was going to be good since the price was so affordable. However, this is probably now one of my top to go places for affordable sushi. <laughs> No, you guys are paying for it. Eh? <laughs> it's yours, hurry up, take, take back yours, take back yours. And lastly, don't forget to drink a lot of Sapporo beer, one of the first and most popular beer brands in Japan. You can find this probably at almost any restaurant you go to in Sapporo. So let me know which food was your favorite in this video. And if you're going to Hokkaido, definitely try some of it out and tag me on Instagram to show me your adventures. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. See ya! <laughs> okay, this is embarrassing. I actually suck at dancing. <laughs>